All right, y'all. Vita here back with a second reading for today it is Sunday, March 10th. Let's get on into these energies. See what the guys, the guys would like for the collective to be aware of. If it does not resonate, kick rocks to it. Okay. Walking away. Number 28. Walking away from a difficult situation. Even though you are starting over, be patient. At times, it is wiser to walk away than to stand or stay in a situation. Your actions will be rewarded. Happiness is coming. So there's a situation here that you may have already walked away from or you are thinking about walking away from. Let's get another card. See what else comes out. We'll do two more from this deck. Here we have fulfillment. Number 21, all your hopes, dreams, and wishes will now come true. Total success in your life. You have earned this success. Your diligence and hard work is now being rewarded a feeling of accomplishment. So by walking away from this situation, you are going, you're walking right into your joy. You're, you're literally walking into your joy. Let's get one more card. It's a situation that is Two came out a situation that's no longer serving you. you you've walked away from it you're walking away from it by doing so a new door is opening up for you a new path lone wolf energy is coming through power is at the bottom of the deck 58 could indicate a man or woman who is extremely powerful that will soon be coming to your aid keep an open mind you could be developing your own personal power allowing you to grow and become much stronger you're walking away. You're becoming stronger. By walking away, you're becoming stronger. There's someone that is just as strong as you, if not stronger, coming toward you. Your dreams, your prayers are happening in real time. Let's see what these two are. Long journey. It's been a long journey. You are about to embark upon a long journey. This could be for career or love. So you could be walking away from both career and love or either. The journey could be inward. All will be successful. Again, we've got success here, success here. This is lovely. Extra money or peace of mind is what this decision that uh, you've made, that you're making is bringing to you. Peace of mind is everything. You are at a crossroads in your life and the choices you make now must be practical and not, and it's important for you not to get emotional. You are not a dead end. You're not at a dead end. You are free to choose the direction in which you want to go. You're free to make this choice. It's been a long time coming. You know that uh, hard decisions have to be made. People have to be left behind in order for you to have this new life, this new sense of freedom. There could even be a sense of urgency here that you're feeling um, if you're still in this situation. So let's keep going. Let's see what else we get. Actually, do I want, I'm going to just go with the tarot. So forgive me, guys. You know I can't see. Walking away, number 28. Why is this here? Walking away. You've walked away. You're walking away. High Priestess, you've really had to use your intuition. Uh, there's something that maybe you don't have evidence of directly, but there's a, ne a, a niggling here. Something... Uh, Almost feels kind of creepy crawlerish that you're just like, you know what, if I don't make this move, something is just going to go haywire. You know you got to make this move. Seven of Cups, you've been presented with a lot of different options, but most have been uh, not worth your while. You've, you've made a decision. You're making a decision. Here we have Seven of Wands. So you've been uh, very protective of whatever this is. You're not telling people. You're staying quiet about this movement that you're doing. Why is fulfillment here? Or this could simply be an advice uh, advice from spirit to keep this move quiet. Keep something quiet. Fulfillment, number 21. Whoa, whoa. That's a popper, man. Hangman. Clarifying fulfillment, although it kind of landed over here. Long journey. So this decision that you have to make to leave something behind, to walk away. You've been real stuck. You've been stuck. You don't want to be stuck anymore. You've done a lot of deep reflection. 
there's something that wasn't clear it's becoming clear maybe you feel now's not the time to move maybe you just don't feel like it because you know it's going to be hard there's something hard ahead that you just might feel like you don't have the energy for but i don't i don't think so i think it's just a matter of once you start moving once you've made the decision fully it'll everything's going to come into place three of wands you've been waiting a long time i feel like the wait is about to be over for you for this a long journey remember this could be love or work or both a long journey alpha alpha wolf Oh, the sun, and then we've got the devil here. So this could even be something is um, like an addiction, even like you know drinking that glass or even a bottle of wine at night. You know, smoking, eating too much, something like that. Something's been illuminated to you, maybe by God. Like you know, you gotta you gotta stop doing whatever this is. It's slowing you down. Something's been slowing you down. It's time to, to stop whatever that is with this devil here to get moving. We already got the hangman out. So there's been something that's been staticky. You feel a lot of times, you know, we feel like we're being held back and it's really ourselves. I know nobody wants to hear that. But, you know, it's about being honest, looking really deep within yourself, seeing the things that you don't always want to see or admit about who you are and the things that you do to self-sabotage your own stuff. I do it so I can speak freely on it as <laughs> I do. I self-sabotage just simply by not wanting to deal with something. So there's something that you haven't want, wanted to deal with that you have to deal with. It's been illuminated to you. You know what you have to do to make this change, to be successful, to move forward, to take things to the next level. Someone sees you as a son could be this devil energy so let's get a card for a crossroads getting making that choice you don't have to wait anymore you've waited long enough for someone Ugh. two of cups and it's sideways so oh six of wands so i feel like this is an energy of someone that really does want to come toward you so this does not have to be your energy. It could be. Or this could be someone else really trying to figure out how in the world can I get to you? Because you're who I want. I see clearly now. You're the sun or the moon. You're something very special to someone. Someone sees you having this victory. Maybe you've been victorious and leaving behind a situation to go into this this new brilliant light that is presenting itself to you but this two of cups is sideways so whatever this is it it could be in transit in transit transit i don't think transit is a word transit right behind uh six of wands we've got this queen of wands here and then we've got strength so someone sees you as very strong uh, maybe you've hit that road or that, that crossroad where you felt a lot stronger in the path, but some, in the past, your path. Something, there's been some obstacles on your path that have made you doubt your strength. And you're starting to see, starting to feel your strength again, hearing that inner guidance. And that's what's pulling you through, pushing you forward into this new light this is new light i feel for someone victories here amazement amusement it's time to laugh for someone hasn't been able to laugh laugh sincerely let's get the kipper why is this high priestess here fruitful i almost feel like this isn't empress energy but i'm feeling like some empress energy here pomegranate Persephone, Greek mythology, Hades. You could have released yourself from just, you could have just been going through a really dark time. A really dark time. Isolation. Someone's been in isolation. It's been hard trying to come back out. Uh, 
poverty here. It landed on the sun. Mature woman. You could be separated from someone. You are... Uh, you're reevaluating your plans. Now we've got main female and great fortune here and marriage. And behind marriage, we have child and message. So I'm not sure what that's about. There could be someone wanting to marry you. Someone's leaving a marriage. Main female, mature woman, a lot of feminine energy here. Not sure, not sure who you are in this just yet. Let's keep going. High Priestess. Why is this High Priestess here? We got Poverty, but it landed over here. So, Poverty. This is clarifying long journey. You are about to embark on a long journey. This could be for career or love. Inward. All will be successful. So, something about money. You could have been tight on money. Feeling... Um, impoverished or having a poverty mindset even or just feeling like you know everything costs too damn much what the hell uh, how come I can't like treat myself more something like that but you've got a uh, you got money coming you got money coming or you're working on your money coming in hi priestess what the heck man what the heck thief landed on poverty thoughts all right, see, this is that devil energy that was at the bottom of the deck. There's someone that's in poverty. This is kind of tying into the last reading a little bit. There felt like two energies in the last one. I had to kind of cut that short because it was just not a good feeling energy. But there's someone that's hit rock bottom. They're really looking at you as their only avenue. They see your success Maybe you've had to pull yourself out of a rut. Maybe this is, is a situation that hasn't even happened yet, but will, where you're going to have a choice to make. High Priestess. Someone sees you as this High Priestess energy. Okay, this is landing on the hangman. Gift here. Gift. Fulfillment. All your hopes and dreams and wishes are coming true. Receiving those God gifts. God gifts. Yes, courtship, official person. This could be a love connection, a divine union that is uh, fulfilling a divine contract. Someone sees you as a gift. They've been very hesitant to approach you. This could be someone that you've been in separation from. This could be someone that is fearful of losing you. That could already be in poverty. This is a few things going on. Let me backtrack again to this high priestess. These cards land where they land. Sometimes I just like to leave them. High priestess. Someone definitely sees you as this high priestess mystic energy. Someone that has all the answers. But you keep things quiet. Toil and labor. You're working hard secretly. Someone wants to know what you're working on, where you're going, pathway, official person, bad health. You could have recently come out of an illness, recovered, healed yourself. Why is two of cups here sideways? Okay, bad health. So there is a false person in bad health that wants a two of cups with you they don't have money they are a thief of joy as i like to say some people are just thieves of joy they are uh trying to figure out how to get some money and they're looking at you as a choice someone needs some money from you okay that's for real let's keep going high priestess this is landing on poverty, under investigation for drug smuggling. There's someone here who is a thief that is under investigation for drug smuggling. This person wants your forgiveness. They miss your light. Look at this shit. <laughs> Look at this shit here. The sun. They miss your light. Y'all see that? This person, whoever they are, they're a thief. They're under investigation. All right. So if they're under investigation and they come near you, if this is someone that you're separated from, 
and they come near you, then you're going to be under investigation too. So if you know who this is, stay away from their ass. Let's go back to High Priestess. Someone is under investigation for drug smuggling. They might have started muling, being a drug mule because they needed money, tapped out. You are loved and protected by forces unseen. Gaunt, constant. Constant. That's not a word. Gaunt. God. God. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Constant galactic surveillance. I love this card. It's my favorite card in the deck. In all the decks, this is my favorite card, my favorite message, I should say. You are loved and protected by forces unseen, High Priestess. Yes, you are. Unseen forces clarifying the High Priestess, who we know gets down quietly, okay? Systemic demolition of, we see this, right? We know what's going on. You're protected from this nonsense right here. That for some reason, people don't understand what the hell is going on even now after all of this chaos. But that is not your problem. Don't make it your problem. Don't make someone else's your problem. Someone else's problem, your problem. That's coming through very strong. Someone is a drug mule. They're under investigation for drug smuggling. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Someone got their car impounded toil and labor. Wow. Wow. Whoa. I am forever altered by your energetic authority and I am grateful to God for your gifts. This is landing on thief. They live in constant regret about what could have been Scorpio Aquarius. You could be a Scorpio Aquarius or this could be this person. This person is a thief. They are claiming to be a uh, changed forever. By having known you, this person, if they are not under investigation for drug smuggling, then they are connected to someone who is, and whoever this is, this, this is going to be a very long journey for them trying to get out of this mess, because this feels like a mess. Something's been illuminated. Whoa. Someone was dealing some bad stuff with this bad health card clarifying this two of cups that's sideways so someone was dealing and it was bad stuff so could have been some uh a lot of sickness here from this whatever this is toil and labor wow these energies coming through are really bonkers man You know, people do a lot of weird stuff when they're desperate. You are a star seed mixed with fey and fairy blood, fey, fairy blood, interdimensional hybrid, landed on under investigation for drug smuggling, kind of in the reverse. So this person could be a star seed, an interdimensional being. They got on the wrong track. Or this is how someone sees you as the sun energy here. You think you love them, but you don't. Aquar no, Cancer, Scorpio, I almost said Aquarius, so Aquarius could be strong on your chart. We do have Scorpio, Cancer, a water sign. Drug smuggling, this drug smuggling could be occurring with the water. Water people, water people. Something about water people? Hmm, I don't know. Toil and labor again. Let's try this again. These cards are just kind of popping. All right, this is landing right here with gift. He wants you to stay fat so no other man will be attracted to you. It's landing on gift, hangman. And this is fulfillment. All your hopes, dreams, and wishes are coming true. So this person who could be this thief energy here that wants this two of cups with you, maybe... Um, Again, with the poverty card here, the bad health here, two of cups sideways, you could have separated from this person. This could be even an ex-spouse. Something's being illuminated about them. They're a thief. They could have stolen from an actual dealer. Everybody's under investigation with whatever this is. Some funneling of money, water. I keep getting water. Somebody's washing money, laundering, something like that. 
this person, he or she, take it how it might resonate. They know that you're a gift. They know someone else is quite smitten with you. Could be a false person. This person is a false person. They really try to get this cash fast and be seen in high honor. They want to be like you, this mature woman. You could uh, live in a large home, have several homes. Uh, whatever this is, somebody tried to compete with you. They went the wrong way to do it. And now they are um, being scrutinized in ways that they don't want to be. Toil and labor. Let's try this again. Oh, my goodness. All right. Karmic femme feels used and abused, used and depleted. She brought a lie and stole the truth. This is landing with this gift. Hangman, he wants you to stay fat. So there is a karmic feminine behavior modification is at the bottom so again with this card here this drug smuggling investigation could have had some people on some real bad trips someone's not changing someone hasn't changed someone's changed too much in a very a desperate diabolic sort of way someone is forever altered they can't be changed someone resents your gifts they don't want you to be who you are they don't want you to be seen who you are I don't think I'm going to get a card for this toil and labor. Let's try it again. I'll just take it wherever it bounces. What the heck? Nope, we got to leave it there. Their names are Susan, Thomas, Alistair, Maven, Henry, Tori, or Troy. Don't have to be, but these are some of the names that are coming out, landing on. He wants you to stay fat. Karmic Femme feels used and abused. So... This uh, could be that weird old Bonnie and Clyde energy coming through again. These could even be false names. Someone's using a fake name, a fake identity. They've stolen several identities. That's how they're getting down, right? Book smart, but very stupid. These people aren't smart. They're not smart criminals. They've gotten caught. They're under investigation. They're poor. Someone's very desperate to come back toward you. You are their last option at recovery. Toil and labor. I'm not going to get it. Oh, my gosh. So everything's popping here right now. Mind games fail. Oh, your children love you more than you know. So this energy came through the other day, too. So this could be someone that's been trying to uh, turn your kids against you behind your back some sort of sneaky way. Or they tried to do that once before in the past and weren't able to. Their mind games fail because they're book smart, but very stupid. So whoever this person or these people are, they're just not that bright. They're not, they're not bright. All right, well, let's get a card for bad health here. Whoa, what the heck? I will always love you, my sweet and precious friend landed over here again. So if this karmic femme or this person here that doesn't want you to be attracted to other men if either of these people resonate with you they they want you to know that this two of cups here sideways that they'll always love you you're sweet and you're precious they might not have ever have told you that they love you or that they really felt this way about you and maybe they um really just want to let you know that before the the sh shizola it's the fan here because that's kind of what this feels like and then here we've got this two of cups is red here with this false person here so this person went with a false false uh, person and got caught up so if this is like a twin flame dynamic for you or if that's how it's resonating then this this uh, counterpart or fake counterpart however you want to phrase it they went with a false person and now they're in a whole lot of trouble. They're unable to transmute their energy. They aren't in control of themselves. They're in bad health. We'll just leave that there. And we'll close this out. I mean, do we want to know about this, this under investigation for drug smuggling? I suppose we could get a card for it. I suppose... Under investigation for drug smuggling. Let's see what comes out. This can be narcotic, narcotics. It could be uh, pills, anything. Lovers, it's in the reverse. Landing on thief. Hierophant. 
So, hmm, Hierophant, Judgment. This is their judgment, man. Eight of Cups. You walked away from this situation. Six of Swords. You are divinely guided away from whoever or whatever this situation is. They got with a fake lover. And it is just hell on earth for this person, these people, for sure. And if this person is trying to come back to you, it's very important to uh, not be seen with them. You don't want to accept any phone calls for, from them because you will fall under this investigation. I don't know who this message is for exactly, but this is uh, it's kind of clear. Kind of clear. Mule. Drug mule. I don't know why that keeps coming through. Let's see if we get anything else. Under investigation for drug smuggling. I mean, you know, this is going to be more prevalent, too, as the year goes on, just because of the changing dynamics in these inner cities. I'm seeing open drug markets, like, on bus stops where there's just, you didn't see that and where I'm seeing it currently. And it's just kind of like, okay. And these are older, older people, you know, it's like, what are you doing? So yeah, stuff's going to start looking a lot different for a lot of people. Desperation is kicking in for sure. As these systems continue to be broken down. Knave of Pentacles. Someone tried to get some money quick. Four of Pentacles, whatever this is, it's it's breaking them down. They don't have any defense. Empress here. And then we've got this Ace of Swords. So someone's realizing, oh, the devil. Someone is realizing, Knight of Pentacles, that this is bad karma. That they should have, uh, instead of competing with you, they should have played fair. They should have done the right thing. They should have honored their contract, their divine contract. This is about a divine contract that's been null and void, canceled. You're this high priestess. This person's problems or these people's problems is being illuminated. They don't have any legal recourse. These people could be um, in high positions in the public eye. I did have a dream about an attorney general last night. I've had this, the, a dream about this. I've dreamt about the same attorney general now, I think, like five times in, in a year and a half. And it's just kind of baffling. But anyway, yeah. Okay, under drug, under investigation for drug smuggling. I don't know why I keep going to this card. The moon is here. The moon and the sun. So this could definitely be twin, uh, feminine. Divine feminine, divine masculine energy that went kaput. Yeah, ten of swords. Moon, hidden, high priestess. I feel like this moon and this high priestess is the collective energy, though, and the sun. So this judgment here has been spiraling now. It's now in the in the at the forefront. People are seeing. The story play out now, whereas before it was in the background. Let's get another card for this moon. Four of Pentacles. Clarifying the moon. Ten of Cups. So this person can't let you go. Nine of Cups, you're still their wish. Eight of Wands. They definitely will be trying to communicate with you. Could be a King of Swords energy. Doesn't have to be Four of Cups. They're exhausted. They're exhausted, whoever this person is. So, okay, let's get some final messages. Please and thank you, Spirit, for the collective, who I feel has no interest in this, whatever dynamic this is. Okay, let's try this again. Teaching and learning. Archangel Zadkiel, keep an open mind and learn new ideas and teach these ideas to others. So I feel like that's what you're doing. And uh, passion, you're following your passion right now. Archangel Haniel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. So we do have, this is crossroads here. So you're free to choose, you're free to make a choice. You have to be practical. 
Here we've got career or love, a long journey. And then here we've got passion, life, love life, and career. So this is about your career and your love life. So you could very well be coming into union with someone that is quite brilliant and uh, you're equal in terms of energy, in terms of give and take, in terms of wanting the same things. And it's just been a long, slow road, but it's coming. This Something's being met with this crossroads following this long journey. So there's an interception that's happening here. Yeah. And it, I feel it's because you've made the choice to leave a lot of chaos behind and follow your passion. And the brilliant ideas, you're full of them, and it's all going to bring you a lot of prosperity, right? And you're going to continue to be under this constant galactic surveillance because what you do is important, very important, especially as this narrative of uh, manufactured chaos continues to play out in our lands, in our, in our lands. So, all right, y'all. I think that's going to do it for me today, and I will see you guys soon in another video.